If you want to make a million dollars, at the end of the pipeline somewhere, either you need one man or a woman who's willing to spend million dollars with you, or million people willing to spend one dollar each with you or something in between. So we really always need to remember the face of the customer. The best way to position new business is who currently has a dissatisfaction. If you find a dissatisfaction which has a business feasibility for you, attack it right away. Which means, if you want to stay ahead, enhance your business. And the mantra is very simply guest experience enhancement. 80% of what you need to learn in the next five years will come from an industry outside. Find something that works in another industry, steal it legally, apply it in your industry, and then you look outside and say, wow! It's the wow part of it that will give you credit. What's the most ridiculous thing, bizarre thing, a guest or a customer can come and ask you, get my car ready for me, Arjun. Don't give me dollar off because what you do not know, my company pays for it. If you got the free car, it doesn't help you. Because now you have a challenge on your expense report to put zero. Visualize mom with a cell phone on the neck, purse on this side, cart full of groceries. The moment mom gets close to the counter or the cashier, mom wants you to open a counter just for her. If mom is left-handed, the whole thing's changed. So mom can just sit and maybe you give a little back massage. <laughs> so what you're creating in each one of these places, you're creating a dissatisfaction in the mind of the consumer. If somebody solves, they will advance. What we realized is, in any business you are, you'll see there's information, 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 and data. I would request you to find that one piece of information that makes action inevitable. Based on this information, I will find those 3% of the people, hold on to them. I'll even tattoo, I'm seriously, your name here, your name right here, and you know, you are number one, right here. Forever, I don't want to lose the three of you. Because if any one of you leave, I'm dead. That is information which makes action absolutely inevitable. I'm going to show you why did you pay $5 for something you know is worth 50 cents. And you felt good about it. So these are what we call the guest experience enhancements. You walk in, aroma. I've come to the right place. These are the cool people. I just blend in. You guys are not that cool. <laughs> now that you know every customer can be moved up, why do I care whether he's a heavy, medium, light? No, I play this game. And the game for me is absolutely very simple. I see any person right there, that's my $100 person. I right away look at what can I do to take him to 200, 200, 300, 300, 400, 400, 500. It's a game. It's addictive. The first thing I would ask you is be a guest to your own business. If any one of us go out, any restaurant, any retail, any experience, we always look at the lowest point. You don't get an average. If you want to have a $7 experience, first define, the customer pays me $7, which means everything has to be $7. The food, seven. Bathroom, seven. Toilet paper, seven. Cutlery, seven. The service, seven. The smile, seven. That is the only way you can get to an experience. When you go back tonight, I would ask you to write a piece, or take a piece of paper and write down words or phrases on why your customers don't come back. You all want to be effective, but they want to be efficient. Marporations is a happy world. A happy world where the customer wins. The customer says, I don't care about you, I don't care about you. I decide what I want. For me, Marporations, again, is like a basketball court where that could be my offensive star, and he says, Arjun, today I feel hot, man. I'm shooting 68%. I'm like, good. That's my defense side. I have eight steals already. We look up. The scoreboard says 
the other team has scored more points, which means you're a loser, you're a loser. That's what Marperation says. Marketing can win, operations can win, but doesn't matter. We all lose when the customer says you're a loser. So many of my clients are not making mistakes because they don't try anything. Your failure has to be bigger than other people's success. That's it.